الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله Alhamdulillah Nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu Wa nasta'gfiruhu Wa nu'minu bihi Wa natawakkalu alayhi Wa na'udhu billahi Min sururi anfusina Wa min sayyati A'malina Man yahdihi allahu Falamudilla lah Wa man yudlilhu falahadiyya lah Wa ashhadu An la ilaha illa allah وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا قبضه ورسوله أما بعد فإن خير الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحدي حدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم والشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة دلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما صدق الله العظيم all praises are due to allah we thank and praise him we testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except allah and that muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is his hand picked messenger who has been sent by allah to guide the entire humanity to success in this life and the life hereafter. May the peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah be upon Rasulullah, his family, and whoever follows him towards righteousness until the day of Qiyamah. Amma ibadallah. 
Today's khutbah is about the actions, sunnah, or practice of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after every obligatory prayer. It goes without saying that Allah Azza wa Jalla has selected Rasulullah from the lot and made him his messenger, purposely to be followed. If we follow his guidance and sunnah, we will be successful in this life and the life hereafter. Failure to do that, we will be destroyed and we will never get to Allah. Because this is what Allah said in the Quran. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهِ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ Muhammad tell them, if at all they love Allah, then let them follow me. In other words, follow Rasulullah. When that is done properly, يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهِ Allah will then love you and forgive your sins. During our past sermons, we did talk about the blessings and importance of Salah. And the Prophet ﷺ said in an authentic narration, pray as you have seen me prayed. Today what we want to discuss is what happens when the Prophet ﷺ says Salah. Because Salah starts and begins with Takbiratul Ihram. Allahu Akbar and finishes with Assalamu Alaikum. The first salam is an obligatory act without which salat will not be accepted. So salat starts with the first takbir and finishes with the first salam or finishes with salam. After every salam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will make and advise us to say istighfar three times. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Meaning, I seek Allah's forgiveness. Then he would say, Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam. Tabarakta dal jalali wal ikram. O Allah, you are flawless and you are the source of peace. From you comes peace. Blessed are you. Ya zal jalali wal ikram. Owner of majesty. His majesty and honor. Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam tabarakta ya zal jalali wa ikram. Then, la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika la lahul mulk wa lahul hamd wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Then say, there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. Wahdahu la sharika la. Him alone without a single partner. Lahul mulk. To him belongs the kingdom. Walahul hamd. And to him belong all praises. Wahua ala kulli shayin qadir. And he has power over everything. Then say, Allahumma la mani'a lima a'atwait. Wala mu'tiya lima mana'ata. وَلَا يَنْفَعُ ذَا الْجَدِّ مِنْ قَلْبِ مِنْكَ الْجَدِّ اللهم أو الله لا مانع لما أعطيت No one can withhold that which you give وَلَا مُعْتِيَ لِمَا مَنَعْتَ No one can give that which you withhold وَلَا يَنْفَعُ ذَا الْجَدِّ مِنْكَ الْجَدُّ The wealth of the wealthy will not avail them against you the wealth of the wealthy will not benefit them against you. La mani alima aatwait. Wala mu'tiya lima manata. Wala yenfa udal jaddi min kal jadd. Then say, La ilaha illa Allah. Wahdahu la sharika la. Lahul mulk. Walahul hamd. Wahua ala kulli shayin qadir. 
ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه وله النعمة وله الفضل وله الثناء الحسنى لا إله إلا الله مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون سين لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير ولا حول there is no power that can keep you away from evil wala quwwata there is no strength that can make you attain goodness illa billah except through allah la ilaha illa allah there is no deity worthy of worship except allah wala na'budu illa iya we do not worship any we will never worship anyone except him alone wala hunna amma to him belongs grace wala hunna amma wala hul fadlu to him belongs bounteousness wala hul thana ul husna then la ilaha illa allah mukhlisina lahu ddin we sincerely devote our islam to allah walaw kariha al kafirun even if the disbelievers hate that there was the day the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was uh, held he held the arm the shoulder of muaz and said i love you do not ever forget after every salah to say allahumma inni ala dhikrik wa shukrik wa husni ibadatik ya allah help me in remembering you ya allah help me in remembering you inni ala dhikrik and help me wa shukrik in giving thanks to you wa husni ibadatik and help me in worshiping you in the best of ways in the most perfect way so he said don't ever forget ikana nyina mumeke salikola wa salikola iko yafo allahumma a inni ala dhikrik wa shukrik wa husni ibadatik mbe danila yemma koy ya sonia ndinye nyin kama ila finko ma sonia mbulu ya sonia ndinye nge tentuno anyama ya sonia ndiye nge batu batu nyala ite dunya tamina he said don't ever forget that bul musa fate ganaw juli ngane yalla mangla nyan nge yomba lalma japalema sima di la fate le kusa sune way mangla nyan ga japalema si ma santa te girim xiwal yingma defal way ma la ñaan yalla nga jappale ma ci ma jaamu la jaamu bi nga xamne yow lolu nga girim and that is only to do it with knowledge according to the commands of allah and the sunna of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam again the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said after every sala whoever recites ayat al kursi Allah la ilaha illa huwa al hayyu al qayyum up to the end only death will stop him from entering jannah again recite ikhlas qul huwa Allah ahad then falaq qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq to the end then nas qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas to the end then say subhanallah 33 times without rush if you are in a rush you are running for something get up while on the way do it properly you don't have to sit there and just do it because you it has to be done whether it's done properly i just need 33 and it's done 
Don't cry, Bonkun. Take your time. Subhanallah. Glory be to Allah. Subhanallah. Allah is far above imperfection. 33 times. Subhanallah. 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 33 times. <coughs> Alhamdulillah. Ten to be mari man satallai. Be pache to chanta nyel na yal. All praises are due to Allah. 33 times. With no rush. Alhamdulillah. 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 Then Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. 33 times. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Don't just play around with your fingers without saying anything. With the pretext that I'm saying something. Because I'm used to it. I've been doing it for the past 40 days or 40 years. So it's okay. It's okay. But in, 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 in actual fact, you're not actually saying much. If it takes a minute to finish and you finish it with a second, then there's a problem. Now ask yourself, am I actually doing it properly? Because there are so many blessings attached to it. Then when you finish that, then say, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la. Lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. In some narration it has come that say, Subhanallah 33 times, Alhamdulillah 33 times, then Allahu Akbar 34 times. Then conclude with, La ilaha illallah. وَهْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَا لَهُ الْمُلْكِ وَلَهُ الْحَمْدِ وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ Khadra Qaba bin Uzra, may Allah be pleased with him, reported that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that there are some recitations after Salah. There are some things that we recite after our prayers which will be a source of reward for the individual in this life and the life hereafter. With the reciter or the doers at the end of each obligatory prayer will not be disappointed. Which when recited by the prayer, the, the, the guy who has prayed or the Muslim who has just finished his prayers, he will never be disappointed. You need to be ne amna yen na nyan nyinga hamne julid buka saho ganao juli buneka do musa am disappointment. Dom kum musa richu. Il n'y a pas de salaire. 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 Subhanallah, 33 times. Tahmid, 33 times. Alhamdulillah, 33 times. Takbir, 34 times. Allahu Akbar, 34 times. All 33 times. Each is accepted. This one is collected by Muslim in a Sahih narration. So subhanallah 33, alhamdulillah 33, Allahu Akbar 33. Or subhanallah 33, alhamdulillah 33, Allahu Akbar 34. Then conclude with la ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika la, lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. In another narration, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said that whoever says this after every salah, Allah will forgive your sins. Even though they are as big as the form of the ozone. Salokola, subhanallah, 33. Alhamdulillah, 33. Allahu Akbar, 33. Kila konyaka nyama. Yake mariman safar, mariman satan lafanang. La dunyo nyino kamma. Ako yela junobo. Hana bukole babali mo mariman satan la se yam fabiel. Inte bine kuko def. Gana bo jule. Saba karbu eme ni du si gecha yala jegala. Provided we avoid the major sins. Another important thing after Salah, after making all this adhkar, is the optional prayers. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, on the day of Qiyamah, the first thing to be reckoned is Salah. If Salah is sound and good, everything else will follow suit. But when Salah is found wanting, everything else will be found wanting. He said, if at all there are defects and faults in our salah, Allah will command that the optional prayers be, be looked at in order to fill the gaps, in order to stand for the mistakes from the obligatory prayers. So this optional prayer which is different from the five daily prayers, which is performed before Salah, 
and after Salah earns a great reward in this life and the life hereafter. And it will stand next to the obligatory prayer which will determine your entrance to Jannah or your entrance to Jahannam. If it's found wanting, there's a problem. But uh, these optional prayers that you have been performing on top of the obligatory ones will earn you goodness, will fix the problems. So we should not neglect them simply because it's optional. Never miss your, sub, um, your nafil salah, especially those that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to pray constantly. Among them is the two rakats before salatul subh, the two sunnah, fajr, the sunnah, the two, and salatul witr, the last one after isha. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never neglected them. It protects against following desires. Inna fila salol. Ike tanki andi la nidia no molla. It protects against evil sins and, co and cures from the sickness. As Allah Azza wa Jalla said, Inna salata tanha anil fahsha iwal munkar. That verily, salah prevents an individual from fahsha. Fahsha means great kind of sins or great sins of every kind and unlawful sexual intercourse, Salah has the power to keep you away from that. While Munkar, Munkar could be disbelief, polytheism, and every kind of wicked evil deed. Salah has the power to keep you away from that. A youngster was reported to the Prophet ﷺ that he would pray regularly. More so at night. But then he is engaged in other acts um, of, of sin, like stealing. The Prophet ﷺ said, eventually his salah will rid him of that sin. Inna salata tanha anil fashai wal munka. The Prophet ﷺ said, pray the optional night prayer. Suta nafilo. Pray this optional night prayer. Because it is the way of the righteous people before you. And it brings you close to your Lord. It prevents you from committing sins. And it expiates your sins and cures you from sickness. The mother of the faithful, Ummu Habiba, Ramila bint Abu Sufyan radiallahu anhu narrated that she had the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the Prophet said, the wife of the Prophet, radiallahu anha, said he had, or she had, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said, a house will be built in Jannah for every Muslim who offers 12 rakah of optional salah other than the obligatory salah in the day and night to seek the pleasure of Allah. This is collected and narrated by Muslim. The Prophet said, Apart from these five daily prayers, whoever stick to 12 rakas of optional prayers, a house will be built for you in Jannah. Aladung is different from our architect. So collect all the beautiful buildings put together. It will not match your house in Jannah built by Allah. Just by performing 12 rakats of salah after the five daily prayers. The first two that the Prophet is referring to here is the two sunnah rakats before Fajr. Then four before Zuhur. Making it six. Two after Zuhur. Making it eight. Two after Maghrib. Making it ten. And two after Isha. Making it twelve. The Prophet said, whoever sticks to this, a house will be built for you in Jannah. Having said that, at night you can make as many rakats as possible. And of course the Sunnah is eight rakats with Safa and Witr. But if we can add more to that due to our sins, that will be welcome. No wonder um, um, Taraweeh in, in Makkah and elsewhere, uh, many a times they will perform tw 20 rakats. 
instead of eight. These 12 extra rakats, um, according to Imam Nasa <coughs> and Tilmidi, I, are the ones I have mentioned. Two rakats before Fajr, two rakats, uh, four rakats before Dhuhr, two after Dhuhr, two after Maghrib, and two after Isha. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل دم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد أما بعد أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه said that my خليل my friend the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم advise me to observe three things and I shall not leave them until I die. Abu Hurairata radiyallahu anhu akon teri kila ayin ya marku saballa akon ngaki andun tabula la fojan nimbe dun na kaburokon. Abu Hurairata muna suma harit yonin tibi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam daf madigal madef nye tenyi 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 duma ko bai beduga chibir bame one is to observe saum fasting Three days every month, the white days. 13, 14, 15 of every month. If you miss that out, at least three days every month. So he said fasting, three days every month. Two, offering the duha prayer, the duha prayer after sunrise. And three, to offer witter prayer before sleeping. This is collected and narrated by um, Bukhari and Muslim. <coughs> Three things Abu Hurairah said is an advice from Rasulullah, I will not live until I die. That is fasting three days a month and offering the duha prayer and to offer witir. Safanim witir okasali jandi belal. Aisha radiyallahu anha narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Turaka before dawn. Turaka before Fajr prayer are better than the wall and all that it contains. Narrated by Muslim. Khairu mina dunya wa mafiha. The Prophet said, two rakas. Nying Fajr salo, nying sunna Fajr salo, low fulo nying. The Prophet said, it's better than dunya and whatever it contains. Unfortunately, due to dunya, due to the seeking of dunya and whatever it contains, many people miss salah. They actually miss the obligatory salah of the um, dawn prayer. Suba salo mim fama mu farloti akadol dani andunkila ako ni mumu sunoti lofulo jandi be suba sal ako lofulo ako kasali wale fisante katambi dunia ni mfungo fumba kon mune nyari raka fajari yenga hamne sunala juli komo magenal adina likoti the adina likoti mo waral niki di te da baby danti. Ya kam ti jok rahasu sangu sa hajuti saka japa ak juli ne dafa dem dawale adina yonenti bi ne adina li ci biram rek nyaari raka yi ñoma ko genal ummu habiba radiyallahu anhu narrated that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever observed the practice of performing four raka before dhuhr and four raka after dhuhr allah will shield him against the fire of jahannam and one should make witr salah as your last salah. You have performed Isha, let witr be your last one after the nawafil salah. If it so happens that you intend to rise up um, and wake up at night to perform the hajjud, night prayers, you can delay the witr after performing or completing the hajjud, then you can perform your witr salah, safa witr, making it the last one. If you fear, that I might not be able to make it. Then you are better off after performing Salah, um, Isha Salah, with your Sunnah, to perform Witr. But if it so happens that you wake up in the middle of the night 
and you feel like praying, the fact that you have performed with it before doesn't mean you shouldn't pray again. You can carry on performing salah so long as you don't repeat witr salah because it should not be repeated twice in one night. No wonder it's called witr. It's an odd number. So if you perform witr now and do it again, the odd number, one plus one, makes it even. So let it be the last one to be performed. Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu anhu narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, make witr as your last salah at night. If anyone enters a mosque, the Prophet said, if anyone enters a mosque, he should offer two rakah before sitting. Two rakahs before sitting. Tahiyatul masjid. Before sitting down, perform two rakahs. No wonder sometimes you go to a masjid before Maghrib, you see people standing. Because they cannot, the time is up, they cannot perform two rakats. And the Prophet said, if you enter before sitting, perform two rakats. Now, if, if they sit now, it means they're going against the hadith of the Prophet. So some would just stand and wait for the adhan, then continue to pray. Abu Qatada radiallahu anhu narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if any one of you enters a mosque, he should pray two raka before sitting. Yeah. Again, Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu narrated that Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Bilal, the Prophet said to Bilal, Bilal, Tell me about the most hopeful act, i.e. one which you have deemed the most rewarding with Allah, you have done since your acceptance of Islam. Because I heard the sound of the steps of your shoes in front of me in Jannah. What happened, Bilal? Tell me. What's so special? What act do, have you been doing? That is more rewarding to Allah since you accepted your Islam. Because I've heard the footstep of your shoes in front of me in Jannah. Then Bilal answered. He said, I do not consider any act more hopeful than whenever I make ablution at any time at night or day, I offer salah for as long as destined for me to offer. Bilal. Lafta ya fonye, ika mumbara leke. Baro mi ya lonko. Ye fan suti ya, ike fan suti ya ndije alala. In other words, kamari man sata la, la duno ninije. Baro mi ya lonko, kabri du nda islam wa konofobi. Bada kende jumale bije mi ya lonko bilal, ika ake. Mi ya sabu, nye sinno moi nyato al jano kono. Bilal kaye ko ya rasulallah. Watu watu nte sal jomuta. Suta lemba ntili lemba. Ntili bula lemba. Akonkatu nafi lola. Nse mbo dango ye minu. Watu yara njine ati na kila ye bilal si nkama mwe aljana. Yene nti bine bilal. Ban jef si se jefi. Dipe binga duge chi islam. Mwomga neke ben waral. Man madega satanka. Tuma kanan bil aljana. Bilal neko ya rasulallah. Tuma jape benopi. Moham gudi la bebele bechek. Di na nafi la kem lu ya la yombal chiman. Kom nafi la dal mom la de saho di def sa su neke. Because of that Allahu am the prophet had the footsteps of Bilal in Jannah in front of him. Well someone might ask well Bilal in front of Rasulullah it doesn't actually mean in front of Rasulullah. And besides if you are a king sitting on your throne or riding on a horse or a camel back and you have someone working for you, holding the rope. You would expect him to be in front of you before anything else. So they are born. Nga amkila ligel. Nga warfas. Nga amkila ligel tiye bumbi. For munti didem mola fajitu. Allahumma hadina fi man hadai. Wa afina fi man afai. Wa tawallana fi man tawallai. Wa barik lana fi ma aatai. Wa qina wa shirif anna sharra ma qadai. Fa inna ka taqdi wa la yuqda alai. Inna hu la yadhillu man walaita wa la ya'izzu man adai. Tabarakta rabbana wa ta'alai. Nastaghfiruka min kullu dhanbin wa natubu ilai. Wa nu'minu bika wa natawakkalu alai. Wa nusni alaika al-khayra kulla. Ya man yujiru wa la yujaru alai. 
ajirna minan nar wa min khizyi nar wa min kulli amalin yuqarribuna ila nar wa dkhilna al jannata ma al abrar ya aziz ya jabbar inna nas'aluka ridwaka wal janna wa na'udhu bika min sakhatika wan nar inna nas'aluka al jannata wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin wa amal wa na'udhu bika min an nar wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin wa amal allahu la ilaha illa huwa al halim al karim سبحان الله رب العرش العظيم والحمد لله رب العالمين نسالك موجبات رحمتك وعذائم مغفرتك والغنيمة من كل بر والسلامة من كل اثم والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا الا غفرته ولا هما الا فرجته ولا دينا الا قديته ولا مريضا الا شفيته ولا ميتا الا رحمته ولا ضالا الا هديته ولا جاهدا الا نصرت ولا ايبا الا سترت ولا جاهلا الا علمت ولا حاجه من حوائج الدنيا والاخره هي لا قريضا ولا نافها صلاه الا قديتها برحمتك يا عزيز يا غفار ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنا وفي الاخره حسنا وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تذق قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وحب لنا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب ان الله يقمر بالعدل والاحسان وايتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي اذكم لعلكم تذكرون فذكروني اذكركم واشكروا لي ولا تكفرون واقيموا الصلاه